Okay. In honor of me being in town for this podcast and not, you know, remoting in via iPad, we're going to have just an ultimate epic podcast that is so awesome in our mind, but hopefully it is awesome to you guys now. Let me just say, you know, we reached out to our viewers on suggestions, and Ryan Berry and Susie and Jeff Elrod, Jeff Elrod and... Um, Clint Jackson, Katie, Molly, not so much Lou. <laughs> Molly was like, we've got a lot of great versus ideas. So. Yeah, the, the premise is um, take a, an element of one movie, pit it against an element from another movie, and then discuss who would win. Now, we'll start with um, the stupidest one that Molly suggested, Burn Notice versus, what's the name of that show? I didn't Suit. suggest that. Suits, Burn Notice versus Suits. I didn't suggest that. Molly, who would win? Don't lie, Molly. Who would win between <laughs> Burn Notice and Suits? Uh, if they fought, the characters fought. Probably the guy from Burn Notice. Yeah, they're okay, ex-spies. Got Bruce okay. Campbell. Okay, who's next? Go run through some of your dumb ones so I can get to my good ones. All right, I've got some dumb ones. I got well, Optimus Prime versus Godzilla. Ryan, your thoughts? <laughs> Optimus Prime versus Godzilla. Optimus Prime. Why? Well, because. Godzilla, Godzilla's Godzilla never display yeah, any smarts whatsoever. He's just a rampaging monster. And okay. Optimus Prime, probably about the same size, right? Yeah, probably. A, well, and, no, uh, and Godzilla's, no, probably Godzilla's a little huge. Yeah. Godzilla's huge. He just shoots fire at him. He's yeah, bigger than you're buildings. Right, he's bigger than buildings. He picks up buildings and he you're right. shakes the people out and then he picks some happen. teeth with them. So yeah. do you think still that Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime would still win? I think For he sure. would. He would just oh, yeah, he would sure. find... Because... Yeah, he'd find a weak point like an eye. Or yeah, he'd crawl up his, his wiener hole. <laughs> Slashing. <laughs> Slow mo. <laughs> <laughs> My dick! <laughs> <laughs> Kept going with it. It paid off. Yeah, it paid off. I, I thought that was going to be bad, but it, like, it circled around. Speaking <laughs> of big monsters, I got Caesar from Planet of the Apes versus King Kong. King Kong's huge and strong, but Caesar's smart. and Simil Caesar. very, very similar. Matchup, but King, I'm giving this one to King Kong. I'm giving it to Caesar because I think Caesar could mobilize all the apes. I'm giving it to Caesar too, but barely. They wouldn't fight though. Are we kidding? Well, we I, kidding? yeah. If we're talking about really bringing friends it. into it and mobilizing all the apes, yeah, I just mean I, that's different. But if it's one on one, one on one, then yeah, that's not. I'm even giving fair. King Kong. Yeah, yeah, one on one, King Kong. Oh, but they'd probably talk to each other. Yeah, <laughs> Caesar would like Amy, Amy. That's the Congo. That's Congo. <laughs> They'd be making fun of it. All right, Caesar versus, Caesar versus Amy. <laughs> Amy would win. She'd be talking she to humans. Just to totally, the humans. <laughs> she would totally confuse Caesar. <laughs> Amy scared. Amy Caesar would be like, no! No! All right. All right. Tim, Wait, I got another good one. Okay. Bill and Ted versus Wayne and Garth. I thought we were going through the shitty one. Oh, yeah. Okay, but okay, Bill and Ted, Bill and Ted, Ted versus win. Wayne and Garth. Well, okay. Do, can they time travel? Can Bill and Ted time travel? No, I don't. It's, it's just you know. It's just in a like, room. They're in a room. It's like King Kong and Caesar. Why would they fight? They would probably just go like Bill and Ted would and Wayne Garth would just smoke weed together. Bill and Ted win. They would just smoke Bill and Ted. Together. They've been to hell and they fought tons of. Yeah, Bill and Ted have been through a lot. Yeah. yeah, Clint brought up that Garth wouldn't fight. He would just get beat up real bad. Okay. Yeah, but so really, who wins? Wayne and Garth would end up being cooler, I think. I I mean, PR wise, they win. Yeah. Oh yeah. Garth does have the um, T twister. No, where he electrocutes. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Garth has been in a fight. That's true. Yeah, you're right. And where he has the belt thing that opens and it electrocutes the guy. Yeah, you're right. It'd be close. We'll go with draw. We'll go with draw. All right, I put Ariel and versus Bell in here just because that'd be an awesome fight. There'd be a lot of nip slips. There'd be a lot of you know, girl on girl. Would it be on land or in <laughs> Everybody's significant other is here except for Max. <laughs> I, I have I have like nip slips. I wrote it down. He like wrote it down. He wrote the word nip slips down. I just thought it'd be a funny word. Okay, enough of yours. Let's do a good one. It would start on land, but it'd go to water. Wally versus R two D two. Wally versus R two D two. I'm gonna say R two D two. I'm gonna say that? because Wally isn't really a fighter. R two D two is a lover. fighter. He's not. But think about all the adversity that Wally faced, and he came out on top. He can fly. Yeah, but he's fly, like in a, like an R2-D2. Wally's like in an emo band, and R2-D2 is like in a heavy metal band. Well, R2-D2 does kind Let's of... Let's just look at R2-D2. He's like beat up, he's yeah. black, and you get 
He's black? Yeah, he's like burned in places. Oh, I thought you meant like African American robots. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if they were robots, Wally would be white, R2D2 would be black. Who's gonna win? Cut! <laughs> <laughs> and we lost our two black viewers. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Alright. I have. Okay, this is a debatable one. Go through some more of your dumb ones, because these are all good. Okay. This is all gold all right, right here. Alright, let's do um, the Power Rangers versus the Ninja Turtles. That's stupid. Ninja Turtles would win. Ninja Turtles? Why let's that? go. The Power Rangers have now listen, robots. Now listen, we're not talking about who's cooler and what's a more enjoyable franchise, because I think we can all agree it's Ninja Turtles. But keep in mind, the Power Rangers have their vehicles, they can turn yeah, into... Yeah, they have a giant robot. I mean, uh, completely okay. objectively. They only go to the giant robot when they're fighting a giant monster. If they're fighting the turtles, they would stay in their spandex, first mm -hmm. of all. And they do this. Second of all, yeah, they're terrible martial artists. Are we just talking about martial arts? Yeah. It's terrible. Like, almost as bad as what Lou just did. The <laughs> argument <laughs> is a little too rough. Which, uh, which it's generation? a little too rough. There's, there's samurai. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, if oh. they have their vehicles, it's definitely Power Rangers. Plus, there's a girl on the Power Rangers. Yeah, but there's a girl in the. But I guess the Black Ranger no! makes up for the girl. <laughs> yeah, racist Brian. <laughs> Why is Max turning into a robot right there? <laughs> She's like the Power Rangers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next one. All right, let's do let's do another one from my list. Okay. We have Bagheera, who's the panther um, that raises Mowgli in the Jungle Book, versus Simba, and. Max hit on it already, like, how, what age is Simba? Yeah, if he's a cub, stupid, of course, uh, Bagheera's gonna win. Bagheera! But if it's, um, if it's Simba from, like, you know, after he'd been living with T Timon and Pumbaa and eating, uh, grubs for a while, then I think it, I think, I'm think, gonna go with Bagheera. I'm gonna go with it depends on where they fight, because if they're in the jungle, Bagheera's gonna have a camouflage advantage. Whereas if they're out in open spaces, I think a lion beats a panther. Okay, they do one battle in the in the jungle, they do one battle in the safari, and then they do one battle in Final Destination, which is neutral for everyone. So, so neutral for everyone, I say I say Simba wins. Although Simba had the motivation to fight Scar because he was trying to get his kingdom back. I don't know if Simba would really have the Simba's kind of a pussy hippie. Well, yeah, he is a total hippie. Yeah, he kinda of runs away from his problems. Hakuna Matata. Yeah, that's kinda Akira of can beat me up. Bagheera's like, you know, he's in the jungle. He's got to be Shere Khan's around. He's got to be on edge. I think he's also it's... black. <laughs> That's right, Brian. That's right. All right, <laughs> it's move on. If it's, head. Head fight, <laughs> <laughs> if it's a head-to-head fight, you make Brian comfortable. If it's a head-to-head fight, I think I think that um, Simba wins. But if there's any, you know, chance to stock and like surprise, okay, let's I think move on. Let's move on. Definitely. Let's move on. Yeah, everyone said move on, and then I kept going. <laughs> You're Sorry. still going. Sorry about that. All right, the wizard from where he plays the video games. You know what I'm talking about? The kid? Fred? Yeah, Fred, Fred Savage. Savage. The wizard okay. versus Super Mario Brothers from the movie. Super Mario Brothers from the movie. Mario definitely. Brothers. Think about it. He knows all their moves. He's, there's two of them. Well, not if they're from the movie. Plus if they're from the video game, he knows their moves. But if they're from the movie, they're just... Idiot. Super, plus, Mario plus, from the movie. plus, he's a wizard. I'm pretty sure Bob Hoskins. <laughs> if I understood the movie correctly. That's stupid. Go on. All right, I'm pretty nice. sure Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo kicked the shit out of Fred Savage. Okay, the most epic battle. The Newsies versus The Rock versus Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> Paper, rock, scissors. <laughs> when we first came over today, Max was like, I got this great joke. <laughs> Look at the studio audience, can't even, they're all in tears. The studio audience is losing it. They're losing their shit right now. We didn't know it was going to be that good. <laughs> Jackson done. help me with that one. I'm done. Go ahead, finish it up. No, I'm just kidding. I got a ton more. Well, no, but seriously, who wins that fight? I think Edward probably Scissor Edward hands. Scissorhands would I cut up. Edward Scissorhands but he's not a fighter. He's, he's yeah. always he's like, oh, what are we doing? Which yeah. it's serious, though. He won't fight. Shit. That's true. Um, it's the rock. The, 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 the rock. the answer is the rock. The answer is the rock. Well, no. If From what movie, The Rock? Zoom. The Scorpion. Okay, think about, just like Max said, rock, paper, scissors. That was Vin Diesel, by the way. Molly, you've managed a dumb, <laughs> a dumb comment in every single... What? It's just like Max said, rock, paper, scissors. I can't tell them apart. Rock always wins. Rock always wins. I can't tell. Then that would mean uh, the news is... What do you mean? Rock doesn't always win. Oh, yeah, the whole point of rock, paper, scissors. Because they all have one that's... Wait a minute, I just thought of an awesome game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Volcano! Let's move on. Versus Toby. Inferno. Did I do this one yet? 
<laughs> Toby from Paranormal Activity versus the Ghostbusters. Well, it's in the name. Ooh. Yeah, Toby. Ghostbusters win. Oh, right. They would totally win. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, yeah, I think the Ghostbusters would win, but... Ryan has a serious one. Okay. Ryan, we talked about it a little bit earlier. Refresh me. Gandalf. Versus Dumbledore. Oh, well, my brother and I argued all over the entire Christmas, Christmas Eve vacation. We could bring in our Dumbledore expert. Dumbledore versus Gandalf. 